Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise and some glory and honor to to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles, great millstone, pushing his word truthfully and sincerely. And shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, pushing the word truthfully and sincerely. And shalom to the Akim. Uh, that be like unto the speckled bird, pushing the word truthfully and sincerely. And I say uh, shalom to your Akim out there. And this is a quick sit down lesson on this uh, June the 5th, 2022, at 5 37 p.m. Central Standard Time on this uh, Sunday afternoon. And the uh, title of this sit down lesson is going to be Let the Weak Say I Am Strong. And this is a news article from RT.com. This is a recently, another recent one. Uh, this is uh, on June the 5th, 2022. From RT.com, World News. Alternative World News around the world. And the highlight of this news article, and it reads... North, North Korea conducts largest missile tests. South Korea says uh, Pyongyang has fired off eight missiles after the U.S. completed a joint military exercise with a joint military exercise with South Korean forces. It says North Korea has launched eight short ballistic missile, right? Uh, eight short range ballistic missiles, likely its largest uh, test of strategy, firepower, and marking a ratcheting up of tensions with Seoul and Tokyo, amending increase of saber rattling by the U.S. It says the mission were fired. I mean, the missiles were fired towards the sea. I'm talking about some mission meant to say missiles. Salaki. I'm going to read that again for edification's sake. Uh, the missiles were fired towards the sea from at least four different locations across North Korea, including the country's eastern and western coasts. Over a period of about 35 minutes on Sunday, according to a statement by uh, South Korea's Joint Chief of Staff, the missiles flew an altitude as high as 80 kilometers as traveling between 110 kilometers and 670 kilometers. At least one of the projectiles flew in a variable Tractor suggesting that it could be maneuvered to invade defenses weapons. Japanese, def Japanese, the defense minister, Nubo <coughs> Kashi, told reporters on Sunday. Although none of the missiles landed on Japanese waters, he said the test cannot be tolerated. Japanese, U.S., and South Korea enemies condemn the launch as a violent of U.N. security council resolutions. Japan, Japan, and the United States responded hours later by conducting a joint missile exercise to show their rapid response capability, according to the Japanese Defense Ministry. It says Pierre Yang latest launch marks its 18th missile test this year and came one day after the U.S. and South Korean navies completed a joint drill in the international waters off the coast of Okinawa. The exercise includes the nuclear power of the USS Ronald Reagan, Seoul, First drive, first drill involving a U.S. aircraft carrier. 
since 2017. The newly elected South Korean President Hong Shun Yi, who took office last month, has agreed with U.S. President Joe Biden to ramp up joint military exercise and Washington to send a strong deterrence message to North Korea. North Korea has criticized such joint drills, a proactive rehearsals for an invasion. Deputies, directors of the ruling, ruling parties, politicized and information department, Kim Yo Jong warned last year that Pyongyang has to strengthen its own forces, including the uh, nuclear arsenal, in response to the exercise. North Korea tested fire in intercontinental uh, right, intercontinental uh, ballistic missile uh, ICBM in March, demonstrating its ability to strike targets throughout the U.S. mainland. So yeah, you know, you know that's wow. Kim Jong Un and Pyongyang Yang of the country of uh, North Korea, you know, they not playing. You know, this is their eighth. They sent like eight missiles in different directions from the western western region towards the east and towards the north. <clears throat> I think this is like one of their biggest missile launches so far this year. And you know, that goes back until, like I mentioned before, throughout this whole year of January of 2022, you know, Kim Jong-un was going to show his military might and strength, and he's living up to his word, you know. You know, they ready for whatever of any threat that comes their way, even if it's from South Korea. Japan, potentially, uh, and the United States, and other allies that's uh, against uh, Kim Jong-un and his regime, you know? Because it doesn't matter if Tokyo, uh, South Korea, and the United States, you know, even if they put more sanctions on them potentially or uh, gear up their defense, their military res- defense and response you know that's not going to stop Kim Jong-un in North Korea constantly consistently doing their uh, missile tests or having uh, control over his country because he's going to have control over his country he's going to have control of his military arsenal so he's going to have control of his military soldiers you know He's going to have control of everything of his country, you know. The U.S. and Tokyo and South Korea is not going to stop Kim Jong-un from his regime, you know. And that goes back to Joel 3 and 10. Let the weak say I'm strong. And about to bring that right now uh, since I mentioned it, you know. So, yeah, you know, we're living in the times of, uh, You know, we're living in times of uh, wars and rumors of wars increasing. And these uh, wars around the world is increasing at a high rate, you know. And this is a scripture that I always normally bring out. So I bring it out more. I bring it out more frequently now because, you know, because the, the, the tension has been building up of these nations uh, with their nuclear capabilities, you know, especially with Iran, with the, their uranium increase of a, a nuclear bomb or a nuclear missile or a nuclear missile arsenal to their collection. Just in case, you know, uh, just in case they're, uh, they're under a potential attack from Israel or other allies that's with Israel, you know. Just like with the same situation with North Korea, you know. 
They're uh, doing that missile test, that nuclear arsenal, their nuclear capabilities. You know, they're fully trained for these things, just in case if they feel like they're under a, tr a threat or a verbal threat or a threat that's coming their way. You know, that's why they're going to gear up, prepare for these things. And what this is what we are seeing right now, you know, as I brought out the scripture, Joel 3 to 10, and I'm about to read it. Through the Holy Scriptures, you know, for edification's sake. Uh, this is the book of Joel, chapter 3, verse 10. Beat your, beat your uh, plowshares into swords and the plenty hooks into spears, and let the weak say I am strong, right? Because you're starting to see, you know, let the weak say I am strong. You know, the nations are starting to get stronger and stronger as we uh, see these things unraveling and unfolding in these last days. Because you're going to see that wars and rumors of wars increasingly. Hey, we see these on an everyday basis in the news, you know. Sometimes the news might not be 100% accurate, you know. Even our local news or the rural news around the world, you know. It might not be 100% fully accurate. But we know for sure these holy scriptures are 100% accurate, you know. And these are uh, things that's going on in the world right now with these... uh wars and rumors of wars increasingly from a verbal standpoint and it's going to get to a physical standpoint and it's getting close to that you know because these nations doing these uh, joint exercise military drills you know simulation type war drills war game type drills uh, joint navy exercise drills you know it's been ramping up increasing increasing you know in these last days, you know, and that's where you're going to continue to see of these wars and rumors of wars increasing and it's escalating and it's, it's being shown even more and more and more, you know. This is the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 9. But when ye, ye shall hear of wars and commotion, that's what we're seeing right now. But it's, it's from, from a vo vocal standpoint. It's going to get to a physical standpoint as well, too, you know. As these nations are starting to show their military capabilities, you know, these nations countering their adversaries. They're like, well, we got nuclear capability just as much as y'all as well, too. Oh, we're not afraid of y'all, you know. That's why you're hearing these uh, wars and the commotions from a verbal standpoint. And it's going to get to a physical standpoint. It's uh, from an economic standpoint, a verbal standpoint. And the next step is going to get closer and closer to a uh, physical standpoint, you know. And these are going to come in reality very soon. You know, because we are living in those uh, times of uh, biblical prophecies are taking effect right now. You know, it's being reflected on the planet Earth, you know, and according to the Holy Scriptures, you know. And I'm going to read it again for edification. sake. This is the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 9. Through the Holy Scriptures and it reads, verse 9 in the book of Luke. But when ye shall hear of wars and commotions, be not terrified for these things must first come to pass. But the end is not by and by, right? Because these things need to come to pass. You know, because the men of the Lord, the true servants, the true prophets of Yahweh, Yahweh, you know, we're going to know these things and we're still learning these things and we're going to know these things when these, uh, things come to pass because it's getting to that point it's going to come to pass as well too and more upcoming prophecies right along with that as well too you know and then I'm going to bring out the normal scripture that I always normally bring out on my lessons uh Slovakia this will be the last scripture then I'm going to close it out
This is the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 6. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. So this is basically like a precept in the book of Luke 21, verse 9. Now, this is a precept for that, Matthew 24 and 6. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Uh, verse 7. In the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 7, in the words of the Holy Scriptures, for a nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. That's what we're seeing right now. You know, these different kingdoms going against kingdoms, and the nations are going against nations. You know, it might be a tag team match of uh, nations going against one another, or a triple tag team match, you know. <laughs> Let's say, like, for an example, you got uh, China, Russia, Iran, going against <laughs> the United States, South Korea, and, and Tokyo, and many more other allies that's, that's down with America, you know, it's, it's just like those for an examples, you know, because it's going to further increase more and more of these nations uh, going against one another, and we're seeing it, the increases are starting to wrap up. You know, the nations, the tensions are starting to stir up a little bit more, you know. And it's getting, starting to get more very interesting now, you know, in these last days. But yeah, you know, as I normally bring it out in my lessons, you know, hey, these uh, nations of rise against nations is going to further increase more and more and more. The, the kingdom against kingdom is going to increase as well, too, you know. As we see... Uh, taking uh, effect right now, you know, and there's going to be more and more of these uh, in the last days, you know, and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places, and these are the beginning of sorrows, right, because we, these are the beginning of sorrows, you can look at beginning of sorrows in, in many different ways, you know, with the uh, famines, the pestilence increasing, the wars and rumors of wars increasing, you know, in this particular category, you know, these are beginning of sorrows of what's about to come, especially what's war related. And, you know, it's going to, is this right now is at an economic verbal point. And it's going to get to, uh, it's going to get to three steps. First, verbal second economic verbal third there's going to be a uh, full uh, physical when it comes to these wars you know wars and women's wars these increase of proxy wars you know in revelations 11 and verse 14 the second one was passed and behold the third world coming quick even though I said this is going to be my last scripture, but I'm going to, through the spirit, you know, bring out one more. And this will be finally close it out. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 11, verse 14. Through the holy scriptures and it reads, The second world was passed, and behold, the third world coming quickly. Right? Because we are seeing signs of its being built up of World War Three, you know? Because these nations are gearing up, preparing for war, you know. Just like in the book of Joel uh, 3 and 9, I believe. Wake up the mighty man. Uh, prepare a war. And that's what we're seeing right now, you know. These uh, nations gearing up, preparing for war. That's what we're uh, seeing right now. You know, these nations are uh, gearing up, preparing for war. That's what we're seeing. All these uh, trainings, these uh, military trainings, these uh, joint exercise trainings, you know. The wars and rumors of wars increasingly. These nations warning each other, you know. 
sending out warnings towards one another, you know, just like Russia sent uh, two warnings to the United States and warnings to the uh, Western allies. If they keep on supplying uh, Ukraine with a uh, military weaponry, and he's saying that's, uh, I was reading the article, you know, I did a lesson on it already. You know, it was saying that, um, you know, they, they furthering the more conflict with what is currently going on right now over there in Russia and Ukraine, you know. So, hey, you know, these uh, tensions are building up between these nations, you know. And you should hear wars and rumors of wars, you know. The nation should rise against nation. Hey, it's just going to further increase more and more in the last days that we are living in. So with that. I hope this uh, sit-down lesson, this quick sit-down lesson was edifying through the spirit, power, grace, and mercy of Yahweh Yahweh And first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Warkar Kadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, preaching his word, truth me and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim. Scattered through four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And shalom to the Akim that be like unto the speckled bird, uh, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And until next time, I will say shalom and a ball, ball, ball.